Welcome to the Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. This episode is called Experience or Belief, Which Should You Trust? I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and this episode is sponsored by my book and audiobook, the number one Amazon bestseller called Instant Divine Assistance, your complete guide to fast and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and more. Just go to Amazon and search for Instant Divine Assistance or click the link in the show notes. I publish both audio and video versions of Awaken, Heal, and Thrive, so take your pick. The video versions are on my YouTube channel called Benjamin Bernstein Podcasts. I drop new episodes of this podcast twice a month. Be sure to subscribe to Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get it. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for a free chance to win a full year of my Awakening Plus online membership. That's a $333 value, and I announce a new winner every month. In fact, I announce our December 2023 winner later in this episode. Keep your ears peeled if you have entered. So, experience or belief, which should you trust? Let me open with a memory from that wonderful movie, The Empire Strikes Back. Some people feel like that's the best Star Wars movie ever. Luke and Yoda are on Dagobah, and Luke is doing his apprenticeship. As you may recall, Luke's X-Wing fighter is in the swamp, and Luke is trying to raise it using the Force, and he just fails and fails and fails. And then Yoda, this tiny little Jedi master, just raises it up and brings it over to the land. And Luke watches this wide-eyed, and he says, I don't believe it. And then Yoda says, that is why you fail. And this illustrates my point perfectly. Did Luke believe what he saw? Or at that moment, was he unable to wrap his mind around the possibility that Yoda had just actually done what he saw? This can happen to all of us. We have an experience that transcends our conception of reality. Our first impulse is to deny it. A part of us says, that cannot be true. I doubt that. I disbelieve that. And it's natural. We all have a part of us that is our reality checker. And its job is to pop up and say, nope, that can't be true. Your job is to be conscious enough as self, capital S self, as they would say in internal family systems therapy, to see that part and understand that it's trying to protect you by keeping you from being deluded and whitewashed, whose job is to keep you from being bamboozled and say, yeah, I know you're watching out for me, but what if this is real? Here's the trick, especially in the spirit world, uh, where you're having an unprecedented experience, a truly novel experience, where you're experiencing something you have never experienced before and didn't even know was possible, that first impulse to disbelieve can be so huge. It doesn't fit in your belief system. And yet, the very nature of every awakening is it is a surprise. As the beautiful teacher Adyashanti said, he says, if you have an awakening and it's what you expected, it's not a real awakening. Every awakening is a surprise. I've had a lot now. And every single one is a surprise. Every new level is beyond the imagination of the mind. It's beyond anything you can conceive. And it's brand new territory every single time. And therefore, it's going to have that part of you, the displeased, pop up and say, that can't be real. And yet, it is real. It's beyond five senses. It's beyond 3D, but it is totally real in its own dimension. And thankfully, when you do good spiritual awakening practices, you can then integrate these energies into your physical world. And then your everyday 3D experience becomes a lot more like that beautiful energy that you popped into and disbelieved the first time. I have this happen a lot with my clients. I will be shepherding them into a new state, or more accurately, I'm just sort of along for the ride and the divine allies that we work with bring the person into this new level of awakening or this new realm of experience, and they will disbelieve it. They say, I think that's happening, or wow, that can't be true. And then I gently tell them what I'm telling you now. Well, what if it is real? What if this really is happening, but it's beyond anything you know about? And what I always tell them is when there is a difference between what you are experiencing and what you're believing, believe the experience, revise the old belief to open to the new possibility. It's the only way to grow in the most meaningful ways. Now, it's worth a tangent here in some serious psychological dysfunctions. There can be wild and crazy hallucinations and things that may not be really happening. Uh, one could argue that these are real things from different dimensions and that what some psychologists or psychiatrists write up as hallucinations are, in fact, very real inner experiences. I've worked with many clients who have been in that department, and I'm really not qualified enough to tell you that every single thing experienced is bona fide inner reality versus what might be 
what psychiatry really calls a hallucination, but that's really not the kind of thing I'm talking about here. I'm talking about moving into a more positive awakening experience and opening to a new dimension of reality that has no words, but wow, I can't believe this is happening, but it's really wonderful. That's the kind of thing I'm really talking about mostly here. Although if you're on the path seriously enough, you will encounter more challenging experiences in the inner world too. And you got to believe those too, because those are part of the path also. But again, my main point here and the main experience I usually have working with clients is where they're having an experience that's really wonderful and ecstatic. And yet it's so unprecedented that the doubting part jumps up and says, I don't believe it. And again, my point is to be conscious enough to say, well, I recognize you part. Thanks for trying to protect me and keep me from being bamboozled. But wow, what if this is real? All right. Let me tell you about the latest five-star review I just got for my book. This came in on December 14, 2023. It's from Tammy Singer. And she writes, very insightful. Benjamin has given us the most useful and effective solution to awaken and heal. I have found the book very helpful where so many others have failed to just make it simple and upfront. This book has it all. Wow. Thank you, Tammy. And do you like to listen? My audiobook is free if you are not yet an Audible member. The deal is even sweeter if you have Amazon Prime, then you get my audiobook plus another one for free. Click the audiobook link in the show notes to take advantage of this wonderful opportunity. Of course, if you are an Audible member, it's a credit, like any other audiobook. As I mentioned earlier, my book is a number one Amazon bestseller and is called Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. It's available in all formats. Click the link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon or to read it in Kindle Unlimited. Also, my Awakening Plus online membership supports your individual healing and awakening and global spiritual awakening and lets you make meaningful connections with like-minded spiritual seekers. Hundreds of satisfied members make up our supportive online community. Awakening Plus members can choose from about a dozen monthly Zoom calls. We also have a constantly growing archive of over 625 life-transforming events supported by an easy-to-use best-of guide. Every recorded event is just as potent and helpful as if you had done the live Zoom call. Not only that, there are three major courses so far and plenty of other benefits to help speed up your personal evolution. Click the link in the show notes to learn more or go to awakeningplus.com. That's awakeningplus.com. I mentioned earlier that I'm giving away a free one-year membership to Awakening Plus. I do this every month, and this is the show where we're doing it in December 2023. The winner this time is... Anne. And this is the only Anne who has entered my drawing who has a New Zealand email address. You can tell because of the dot NZ at the end. So if that's you, Anne, please email me, benjamin at astroshaman.com, and we'll get you set up with your free Awakening Plus annual membership. Congratulations, Anne. And to everybody, thanks for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and we are wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so that others can also awaken, heal, and thrive. And be sure to click the link in the show notes for a chance to win one free year of my Awakening Plus online membership. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings. <laughs>